With a goal of providing a platform to underrepresented voices in the wine industry to craft innovative food and wine pairings, Jay Vineyards and Winery has teamed up for a series called Shifting the Lens to challenge through and reimagine the traditional approach to cooking and wine. Joining me now is head winemaker Nicole Hitchcock and chef Preeti Mystery. Thank you both so much for joining us here on Live Thanks, Thanks for having us. us. Yes, of course. Now we're going to talk all things wine, all things good food. But first, let's talk about Jay Vineyards and Winery. First, give us maybe an overall glimpse of who you guys are in this program that you're partnering with. Absolutely. So our winery is located up in Healdsburg in northern Sonoma County and the Shifting the Lens series is really exciting. Uh, it's, it's intended to uh, provide a spotlight for underrepresented, oftentimes overlooked cuisines, mm -hmm. people, uh, flavors that aren't traditionally featured in, uh, in, in winery and tasting room culinary pairings. Wonderful. And Chef Preeti, I know yeah. that you are pretty much at the head of this collaboration. For you, what does it mean to be able to showcase so many amazing flavors and pairings? It's such an amazing experience. I uh, moved to the Bay Area in the late 90s and I fell in love with wine country right away. And to be able to showcase my cuisine as well as the cuisine of so many of my amazingly talented colleagues uh, that cook, you know, Vietnamese food, Mexican food, yeah. um, etc. It's just been such a great opportunity with these beautiful wines and in such a gorgeous space. Yeah, and speaking of the wines, Nicole, I know you guys brought some with you today and we're gonna open up a bottle and you're gonna give us a couple of tips, right? I sure will. So let's go ahead and jump into let's that. Let's open. And what is this one here? This is our J non-vintage Brut Rosé. Mm -hmm. And so I love to, I love to serve bottles right around 45 degrees, so with a nice little chill on them. I like them. that. I like a little chill too. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about how, to, about how to open the bottle because sometimes it might be intimidating, but I think that the beauty of opening a sparkling wine bottle is that yeah. there's no wine key required, okay, right? that's good. Yes, that's good exactly. news. <laughs> so the first step is you want to remove the foil, uh -huh. and then you're going to remove the wire hood and just twist it off. You want to keep your finger on top of the bottle to make sure that the cork doesn't fly okay. out unintentionally. Because I think that's a, a common mistake yeah. sometimes, right? <laughs> yes, yes, it makes me very nervous. And so then um, you're going to hold the bottle and okay. take the cork, and you're just going to kind of um, slowly loosen the cork. Ah. And just a whisper. Uh, should Beautiful. come out. Oh, there we and go. We, had, we have an extra celebratory. That's a celebration. Yes, it That's is. Why. It is. <laughs> so then, um, then you're going to want to pour uh, just a little bit into the glass. I like to fill it about halfway full, so not too full, and uh -huh. very slowly also, so that it doesn't foam over. And does that do something with the flavor, leaving a little bit of air in the glass, or why that approach specifically? I like to leave a little bit of space in the glass to be able to, to uh, smell the wine, ah, so that okay. there's a little bit of room to, if you want to swirl it around a little like bit, that. and let the aromatics jump out of the glass. There's a reason to everything, I'm telling you. Well, now that we have this, I, I feel like we should toast. What do you, what do you I mean? Absolutely. I'm in. All right, I'm gonna take one here. Perfect. Perfect. Toast alive in the bay. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Shifting Cheers. the lens. Awesome. Cheers. Mm. Oh my goodness, crisp, fresh, and I love that you chilled it. It tastes even better when it's chilled. I feel like you can literally have this at dinner, dessert. And what about the wines over here that you brought us today? Yes, so we brought a, a magnum of our Cuvée 20, which is really our flagship wine for Jay. We've got uh, some of our Russian River Valley Pinot, which we're also uh, well known for. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then of course, more of our non-vintage Brut Rosé. People know us, I think, for, mostly for our sparkling wines, but we've got a really incredible portfolio of about 30 different wines oh, wow. uh, across yeah. Pinot Noir, sparkling, Chardonnay, Pinot Gris. So there's a lot of versatility and depth mm -hmm. in our portfolio. Well, you have all the delicious wines, but we can't have any pairings without the good food. So Chef Preeti, when it comes to pairing wines with specific foods. Can you tell me about the process as a chef on how to just make it so delicious? Yeah, I mean, first and foremost, like, it's all about how your palate feels, right? You don't need to overthink it and what somebody else thinks or so what somebody tells you somewhere, or whatever mm -hmm. I say up here. Uh, it's what tastes good to you. Yeah. Uh, from there, it's really just about uh, thinking about the different flavor combinations. Like one thing I love about the J wines in particular is what Nicole just said, 30 different wines. So it's not just like, okay, I've got this one wine and what do I put with it? And you ah, feel a little overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. But when you have so many different varieties, sparkling, still, rosé, and Pinot Noir, you have a lot to kind of work with to play around. So I think you follow some of the 
basic things that people say, certain red wines with meats and things like that. But from there, really just like taste it. Think about the different flavors. For example, this Brut Rosé with the dish we're about to have, mm -hmm. it has hibiscus in it. And to me, you might think like, oh, that seems a little jarring to have this other liquid with, you know, a, a tea essentially. But actually it brings out the fruit. Mm. So it, it actually makes a different, it makes a third taste. Mm -hmm. There's the taste of the food, there's the taste of the wine, and then there's this third taste when you have the two together that all of a sudden brings out these different notes in the dish. Wow. And, and in the wine. And in the wine. Okay, well, I love it, and I can't wait to see what you did. So maybe walk us through the specific dish that you made today, and like you said, it, it pairs with this sparkling wine, right? Yes. Wonderful. Absolutely. Okay, so what is, tell us more about this dish. So this is Pani Puri. It's a traditional Indian street food dish. These are the, so Pani Puri literally means uh, water, and the Puri is this little guy right here, a little deep fried number. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is, uh, traditionally this would be, uh, regular potatoes. I use sweet potatoes just to give it a little sweetness uh -huh. with chickpeas. And we spiced it a little with some turmeric and cumin. Like and then that. from there, I wanted to do a little seasonal garnish. So this is not traditional. This is sort of my interpretation. Um, and we've got some asparagus mixed with pickled onions here. Wonderful. And I, I like to onions. put a little bit more mint on top. There's a little mint in there, but I like to really highlight that part. Now, one of the things that's interesting about this dish is that it has all of these spices in it. Mm. So we've got cardamom, black pepper, fenugreek, black salt, which has this very sulfuric, like if you smell this, you'll smell it. It almost smells smell kind it. of wow. like rotten eggs if you have it really close up, but it kind of is this like umami flavor uh -huh. that when it's used in small amounts in a street food dish, it just has this wonderful kind of like, you know, that fifth element kind of flavor to it. Wow, well so, I can't wait to taste it. All right, well let's give it a go here. Should we uh, all take Should we all take we should, one maybe? I think we all should take okay, one, I think yeah. I think that so that's let how me... we end this segment on the flavor. All right, <laughs> here we go. And then get your wine glasses ready so you can taste yes. the two yes. together. Now the most important part about the Pani Puri is you have to put it all in your one bite. Okay, you one can't, bite. If you bite in, because this water is going to go everywhere. So here we go. Perfect. Go. Thank you. you are. Awesome. All right, let's see here. And I'm going to take a bite you. now oh. so I can tell our viewers on what to expect here. One for you. One for me. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh. All right. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> All right, my name. Mm-hmm. Mm. So delicious. And I'm going to finish it off with the taste of this wine. Oh, my goodness. So I love the crispiness, the different textures in there. The wine pairs perfectly with it. I just thank you both so much for joining us here today on Live in the Bay. This was an absolute blast. Appreciate Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thank yes, you. Of course.